The dang crystal cut me. Be careful when you're buying crystals. Although very pretty, very dangerous. What's up, everybody? My name is Andrea. I am part of the Dyclamic Duo, and today we are doing a haul. Okay, so we are in Home Goods now. Um, they have a lot of odd, unique figurines, statues, whatever you want to call it, um, that you saw there. Here, that was pretty cool, but I didn't have anywhere to put it. I thought it was pretty cool, an acrobatic sculpture. And there's some books here. I always look at the books, see what I can find. This one didn't have any good ones that I liked. Here we are with the pillows. Um, I was looking for, you know, the grays, the blacks, whites. Didn't really see too much. But they come in sets too. So you save a lot of money a lot of times when they come in sets like that. This is a pillow that I revisited later. It was just so soft, so cozy. It was a little expensive, $29.99, but the quality was really good. We're in the white pillow section. Oh, this plays pretty good music, that's why I'm dancing. Um, blankets, didn't really see that many blankets here. So, this one I was debating about. I'm always looking at like faux fur stuff, but I don't know if it's gonna go with my whole theme. So, decided not to. That chair was cool, but there was a hole in it. You need to mark that down quick. This little corner sofa was cool but too expensive for me it was like 400 bucks now I'm looking for lamps that was cool but I didn't want a beige lamp shade and I really like this lamp it reminded me of like a hotel lamp but it didn't have anywhere to put it so stayed there and then I found them. These are dupes of the Restoration Hardware lamps, um, but a fraction of the price. $59.99 by Ralph Lauren. So I bagged those, two of them. I was so happy I found them. Here's that lamp I was looking at in gold. If you're looking for lamps, make sure you guys look up, look in home goods. Cause, and I w went back to the pillow, like I said, I just couldn't pass it up. So I put it in the bag, I put it in the buggy. I'm gonna try it out when I get home. See if it goes with my bedroom. And luckily they had um, they had two of them, so I grabbed two of them. Just in case. And I was trying to figure out what they felt like later in the video. They feel like a teddy jacket if you own them. That's exactly what they feel like. Like a really soft teddy jacket. This is the second home this went to, I believe. Um, I saw this shelf. I, I honestly, looking at it now, I probably should have gotten it, but it was kind of wobbly, so I left it there. This bench was really cool. If I had somewhere to put it, I would have gotten it, but. It was on clearance, 
So if you guys are looking for that kind of vibe, look in your home goods. They might have it. This is cool too. They're very, they're very unique pieces in home goods, but that didn't match anything I had, so I left it there. But I just thought it was really neat. If anybody's looking for anything like that. Lamps again. This time I found the gold ones because I didn't know if I wanted the black or the gold. But this home goods had the gold ones, like the black ones I just bought. So I bought those. Um, the key, to me, the key is to just, you know, buy everything you see. And then if you don't want them, you can always return them. So we got these. And also make sure you, when you're looking at lamps and stuff, make sure you pay attention to the finial, the little piece on the top, and the lamp shades because these were totally different from each other. I think somebody switched out the tops of them. So just a little note for you guys. Console tables there, but I already have a huge one. So I didn't need that. I thought this bench was cool. I like the colors in it. But it was so uncomfortable. It was so stiff. That, I would have gotten that, but it was missing two pieces. I don't know why I wasn't on clearance, but I guess someone broke them or something. This right here is a total dupe for the rest it's a restoration hardware um the core piece i'll put a picture right next to it i think this was only if i'm not mistaken because we forgot to get some footage of the actual price tag but i think it was like a hundred dollars and if it would have went with my decor i would have gotten it but it did so it stayed these were cool too but um they were damaged like on the bottom you can see like the paint chipped off and everything otherwise I would have gotten them but still really cool and if you guys are looking for planters Home Goods has a million of them these were actually really heavy like really really heavy um pretty cool ones for a good price blankets I'm always looking at blankets I don't need any more in my house so I just kept it moving Pillows, pillows, options, options. But nothing jumped out at me. So here's a look if you guys want to kind of see. And I like how they color coordinated it too to make it easy on me. me looking at as a book um i actually ended up getting this italy book because i recently went well i went to italy last year and it was a really good experience um i put it back there but i went back and got it just for nostalgia purposes here's a piece of driftwood too anyone's looking for that see this is where i skipped the first two crystals and found this other one and then when i went back i saw So I found that one, but that one's kind of dull. They have some amethyst down there, as you can see. Um, after I saw that, I was like, let me look. And then I went back, I backtracked and found the other two, which I don't know how I missed them because they're huge. So here we're trying to figure out which crystals or clusters, whatever you want to call them, um, we should get. They were each $69.99, so I wasn't going to get all three. I just got two of them. And these are dupes for restoration hardware as well. But cheaper. Here's some more wooden sculptures for you guys to look at. There's another cluster down there, but that was really, really dull. I didn't even like that one. But anybody that has like dark or light woods, there you go. I thought this 
piece was cute too, but I don't have anywhere to put it. Plus it wasn't gonna fit in my car, so it stayed there, but it was still cool to look at. I love the little sliding doors. This is um, like the mirrors that I got, except it had like a gray frame. Um, the boxwood plants, I'll insert a picture here. Rugs, I saw a few rugs that I liked, but the one I really, really liked was not comfortable. There was like no cushion, no padding, no nothing. This one was kind of cool, but it didn't match my color scheme. Um, I like that one too, but it was too light. But I do like the pattern in it. Really, really pretty. Good prices too. That one was $1.99, I think. This is the one I was like, oh, I should get this one because it was perfect. But y'all, when I touched it, I was like, oh no, it was so bad. So rough, but the pattern is pretty. So yeah, that was it. That was our visit. Um, so now we're gonna hop into everything that I bought. Um, I drove two hours from where I lived yesterday to go visit some home goods stores because where I was going, they have five of them in their city. Um, and I only have one where I live. So I drove two hours to go see them. Everything is closing early and um, opening late, like the home goods, at least where I live. And I was kind of sh cut short for time because I had a late start. Um, it was raining, it was traffic, it, it was just a whole mess. Y'all have no idea what I've been through these past two days. But we are here and I found some really good stuff and I'm really ready to share it with you guys. Um, a lot of stuff that I found are dupes for restoration hardware because everybody loves the decor, but I'm not that much in love, it, in love with it to be paying that kind of money. I'm just not. So, first things first, I want to share these lamps because so okay so in my last video I told y'all that y'all saw that I got I finally bought a Tom Ford book and because of that Tom Ford book I wanted to change the colors in my living room in my dining area I won't call it dining room because nobody eats in there there's just like some nice decor for you to sit on so the new color scheme is I'll share some inspo right here, right here. Um, I think it's gonna be really cute, really chic, really grown up because the decor I have right now, I've had for about, I'd say maybe three or probably three years. And I've just outgrown it. Like I'm kind of over the glam stuff. Like even in here, I feel like I kind of want to up it a little bit, make it more mature. But I'm not sure. I, I'm gonna keep this where it is right now because I'm just focused on the living areas right now because that's where I spend most of my time. So um, first things that I want to share with you guys are these lamps, which are um, dupes for the Restoration Hardware lamps. Um, I, I wasn't sure what color I wanted, right? So <laughs> I bought the black and I bought the gold. Um, not one of each. I have two of each. What, whatever set I don't want is going back. Um, so I'm sure you guys have seen it. They are, you know, clear glass here with a rod in the middle. This one is black and it has like gold around the rim. They're by Ralph Lauren and they were only $59.99 as opposed to Restoration Hardware, which if I'm not mistaken, I, I'll put a picture right here so I won't lie to you guys, but it was like hundreds of dollars and I was like, no. No. So I found this. These, um, I kind of think I'm gonna go with the black because I feel like it'll fit the mirrors that I found. I'll show you that next. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with the black and maybe take the gold back or maybe I'll put the gold in my bedroom. I'm not sure. I have lamps in there that I love right now, but they're just so pretty. I don't know. And I just felt like I found such a gem when I found these. 
So that's that. Okay, guys. So ignore all this crap back here, but this is the mirror. It was $59.99 as opposed to the hundreds of dollars restoration hardware um, charges and it's framed in black. And my idea is to put this um, in my dining area. I have a console table and I'm gonna put the two lamps. I got two of these, by the way, two of these. I'm gonna put the two lamps that I choose, probably the black um, in front of them and the two mirrors together so I think that's gonna be a vibe and it's gonna open up the space and just make it look really really done up I'm excited about it okay so that was the mirror next I wanted to um, get some more coffee table books y'all know I love coffee table books and I found some these actually I didn't find um, on my road trip yesterday I found them in the one that's near me um, Oh, that's a lie. I found one yesterday that I'm going to show y'all. It's Vogue on location. And I've been really big into travel, even though we can't go anywhere right now, um, since I traveled outside of the country for the first time last year. And everything that is like not where I live or anything to do with traveling, different places, I'm like drawn to. So I thought this is really cute. Um, it was only $34.99. So, I thought that was a pretty decent deal. Um, I found this Streets of New York. Can y'all see? Okay. It's a glare. But I found this Streets of New York book at the one at the home that I live next to. Um, it was $39.99, which is a little pricey for my taste. But I love New York. I've been there a couple times, actually. And I just thought it's black and white. Goes with the theme. So yeah, Streets of New York. I haven't opened it to look at the pictures, but I'm sure they're bomb because New York is just so pretty. It smells kind of funny, but it's so pretty. She wanted Chanel, she wanted Gucci. Is that words? I think that's words. I found this Chanel book, The Making of a Collection. It was only $19.99. Um, it's blue on the front and colorful on the back, but on the side, which is what's gonna be showing anyway, it's black and white. So that's why it went with the aesthetic. Um, this was, I think I told you, yeah, it was $19.99. Um, so I love a Chanel book. I probably have every one that they made here. And then I found this Marc Jacobs Unseen 1994 through 2012 book. Um, it's still in the paper. Um, I wanted to keep it in the paper until I was ready to actually put it up. Um, it was only $29.99. So that was the steal. Next, I wanted to, so my couch is gray. And um, of course, you know, everything is gonna be black, white, gold accents, and of course gray, cause my couch is gray. So I wanted to, I was gonna buy new pillows, like new throat pillows, but then I was thinking, you have pillows already. Why don't you just buy the covers for them, right? So smart. And then you don't have to worry about storing a whole pillow. You just take the cover off, fold it, and put it away. So I cruised by Amazon and found some. These are all like velvet. They're actually really good quality. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? I got a set of two of each of these colors for like $8.99. One of them might have been a little bit more. Um, I'll try to put the prices along with the cover that I showed. This one is like an ivory color. These are all like 18 by 18 because that's the size pillows I have right now. Um, it actually looks kind of small though. This looks small to me. So I may have messed up. I may have to get bigger ones. I feel like my pillows I have now are bigger than this. I'm not sure. But this is like an ivory color. Um, then I got black, of course. See that shine? And then I got gray. And I bought two grays because, you know, when you're shopping online, you can't really tell what the color is going to be. So I bought these two. And I'm just going to put them on 
and see which ones go better with everything. Probably this one, because I feel like this one is way too close to the dark, or it's too, something about it is just not doing it for me. So it might be this one. Speaking of pillows, we're gonna have a little sidebar. Um, this isn't for the living room, this is for my bedroom. I saw these yesterday when I went away, or I didn't go away, when I went out of town to go to Home Goods, and it was just so comfortable, I couldn't leave it in the store. Um, my bedroom is nude, white, and gold. There's a little bit of gray in there, um, so it's very, very neutral. And this was just, y'all, I wish y'all could feel this pillow. Like, I feel like going to sleep right now. Um, so I got a set of two of these. Um, really good quality. You can, you know, make it lux luxurious by chopping it down in the middle. Um, I think this pillow was, oops, sorry. Um, this pillow originally, it said $68, but I got it for $29.99, which is kind of expensive, but I mean, it's just so good. It sheds, but you know. Oh my gosh, it got all over my shirt. Okay, I might have to go back because that's making a mess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these, but they're really, really, really soft, really good. And I don't know if you can tell, it's like, see the material on it? So it's not a solid pattern. It's like a, I don't even know how to explain it. I'll look, I'll look up a description and let y'all know, let you guys know. Now I'm gonna look all empty. The pillow literally got all it's just that one though. The other one doesn't do that. Okay. Um, also for my bedroom, I got this planter. I have a taller one that's just like it. If you look at it in the store, it looks like it's really heavy, but it's not. This is like plastic, like plastic. But I thought it was really cute. It goes with my color scheme. It's only $19.99. I have a plant in my room right now, but I'm not really in love with the pot that it's in. So I'm just gonna stick that in there. Speaking of plants, I bought this baby. Um, it's a fiddle tree, I think that's what they call it. It's about four feet tall. It just has this basic little black um, pot on it. It was $39.99. I'm pretty sure I've seen this on the IKEA website, but I just thought it was cute. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put it, um, but it looked great because some faux plants look really, really cheap. Like this already is kind of like plasticky, but it, it's, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I got him. And we're gonna dress them up, make them look really fancy. Put it back there with the big boy. Um, next, what I got. Okay, so the next thing I got was this. Now, before you judge, I saw it and I was like, that looks so weird. It's like a tree. Um, gut it out and they put some it's like pottery though. I'm not sure how they did that um, But I felt like it'll because I feel like the color scheme that I'm doing is very very modern um, So I wanted to add some kind of touches of like a homey feel so I'm gonna see how this goes The console table I have is like this exact color scheme like do I, I feel like I fuzz all over my face Okay, sorry. But it's the exact color of this. So I was thinking if I put this on top of a book or just somewhere on the shelves um, and fill it with this moss that I got off Amazon, it'll look, I feel like it'll look okay. I really wanna do like a concrete bowl with moss inside of it. Um, but I haven't been able to find one that I like that's a reasonable price. I did find 
this pedestal bowl because I've been wanting a pedestal bowl but the cheapest one I found that looked decent was on CB2 and it was like it was 50 or 60 dollars and it was white so I'm gonna have to like spray paint it because I want a black one so I was like okay maybe I can spray paint this one but this one is metal and I kind of want like a ceramic one so I'm not sure um but this one this bowl was only $20 so I'm like 20 versus 60 we'll go home and think about it the key to home goods just buy it bring it home if you don't like it you can always take it back because buyer's remorse is the worst so I got this bowl Sorry, we kind of got off on a tangent. But yeah, I, I think this is going to look okay. I'm going to try it out. Um, maybe I'll share a picture on my Insta stories and see how you guys like it. Um, but people, I've been seeing a lot of people putting like driftwood and everything in their homes. And this is just the granddaddy of driftwood, I feel. This is your granddaddy. This is your granddaddy. So, yeah. So got that next now crystals now like I said earlier I've been looking for this huge deal crystal that everybody seems to be able to find except for me um, but I did find this is selenite I think that's how you say it I found this um, log and I looked on Pinterest and some people have had this sitting like on a stand which I have not been able to find I feel like those are all like custom made to fit whatever they're trying to sell so this might go back if I can't find like a stand to go on it because I feel like it's weird to just sit it down on the on a console table or a coffee table I feel like it needs to be sitting up so it can like make a statement so if I find a stand she's staying if not she'll find somewhere a better home next crystal are well, I'll save, I'll save those for the finale. Next one, I actually had already had this, but I just wanted to share it because I feel like it's gonna go with the aesthetic really well. It's this, it's a gem. Um, I don't try to see that mess. Or, oh, whatever. It's just the stuff down here that I'm sharing with y'all. So it's like some kind of gemstone. I'm not really sure what it is, but it had a mirror stuck into it. And I was like, that is perfect. You get a little bit of a crystal vibe and be able to look at yourself. So I got this one, it's double-sided. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and finally, I'm still on the hunt for the other geode crystal. Ow! Ooh, ouch. Ow! Out, Charlie! Out! This cut me! I need a band aid! Oh my gosh! <laughs> the dang crystal cut me! Wow! Ow! Wow, ow! I really gotta cut. Like, wow. So be careful when you're buying crystals, although very pretty, very dangerous. But ugh, I was able to find, I can get them up because they're really heavy, these yesterday. And I always go, go through the aisles twice now because I find that when I'm looking for something in particular, I always get over stuff. So I usually do a sweep of the stuff I'm looking for. And then before I leave, I just do another sweep just looking. And that's when I saw these. I don't know how I missed them the first time because they're really as big as my face. Like, really big. Um, I'll let you guys see them up close. So you can get the full effect. Um, really shiny. They actually had one that was bigger than both of these but it wasn't as shiny as these are it was more dull so i felt like i just get the other two i'll let you guys see the other one yeah 
here it's like a little cave but I thought it was so I couldn't leave them I couldn't leave them these were each um, $69.99 so not horrible I mean it's not like a steal but it's not horrible on restoration hardware they're like upwards of like three or four three three or four hundred dollars or something like that I'll um, link something on the sides here so I was like compared to that I am saving a lot of money um, oh and this selenite log was only $14.99 and it's supposed to bring clarity I've read um, I'm not really sure how these things work like I told y'all I honestly just buy them because they're pretty and I just pray of them and ask God to just bless them so I'm not really sure what all of them do but that's that um, also from Amazon um, I got some moss rocks and Amazon is very deceiving oh, the, the deception the betrayal man you deceived me calm down because even this moss there's like nothing in here but I have been um, recently following DIY with KB. I'm gonna link her page down below because y'all really need to look at her videos if you like decor because she's really good at like repurposing things and getting the look for less. So a lot of the stuff was inspired by her. But what she did was like with moss, she said she filled up some plastic bags and put them under the moss and just set this on top. And I was like, that is so smart. Instead of having to buy like 20 of these, because this is not cheap. Even this little bag, this bag, I want to say it was like 10 or $15. I don't know. I'll link it below. And it's not even a lot in here. Um, but I got these to kind of mix in with that. So you can get a little bit of different texture, different greens. Um, and finally, what I think is going to set off my living areas is artwork, right? So... I will say that abstract art is very nice, great for the artist, but I'm not paying $4,500 for lines that I can pay myself. I used to draw all the time in high school. I actually wanted to be an art major in college, but reality hit and I was like, girl, what you gonna do an art major? Are you really gonna be an artist? So I went with chemistry. But I decided I was going to make my own wall art and put it up and then it'll be even that much more special because it was made by me and I put time into it so what I got was some spackle this is called spackle. spackling some of the knives that go with it so I can make some texture on the canvas this is also inspired by DIYKD and Raven Elise, she's she did one too. But yeah, so I'm gonna do this, make some texture on the canvas. I'll show y'all the canvas in the middle in the, in a minute. Um, the canvases, y'all was a steal. I went to Michaels, um, and they have you know they have the huge ones. I got the 48 by 60 because that's the biggest one that they had, which almost didn't fit in my car. Um, but they were buy one get one free, so I got two 48 by 60 canvases. For $109 plus tax you can't beat that so I'm gonna um, paint the canvases I got some white and black matte paint and this huge brush <laughs> from Amazon this is a six inch um, and I'm gonna go to town and then when I'm done painting I got some picture lights so I'm gonna hang these above my painting and it's gonna look like a little gallery. I think it's gonna be so, I'm so excited about it y'all. I'm about to get to it right after I finish this video up. And I'm excited. These picture lights, I think on Restoration Hardware, I wanna say they were maybe like three hundred. <laughs> That might be a lot um but they were pretty expensive so thanks to DIYKB um I found these on Amazon for 20 
$6.99. So I got two of them. Um, I didn't want to buy four because the I got two canvases, but they're huge. So these 13 inch lights, one is not going to be enough. So I'm just going to put two above each one. Um, and I wanted to try it out before I committed to buying two more. So I just think it's going to be so good, y'all. I'm so, so excited. So excited. And I think that is it. Oh, I did find this. Um... I don't really know why I bought this. I was thinking in the store, oh, I can put my fruit on it. Um, but I think it might go back. It's, I mean, it's really, it looks okay. I mean, it's, it was only $12.99. And it looks like, like a wood type vibe here. But I'm not sure if it's going to go with everything, I kind of think I want to just put my apples and stuff in a black matte bowl. I feel like that's going to be more aesthetically pleasing. So this might go back, but I, I just wanted to share that in case you guys are looking for one. Um, I know Julia and Hunter, I've been following them too. They have one similar to this where they put their fruit in and it looks so good. But their decor is way lighter than what I'm doing. Like everything in their house is like tan, white, cream a little bit of black but most of my stuff is like black and then I have my gray couch and so this might be a little bit too light so and that is it um yeah I think I shared everything with you guys um there will be more hauls because like I said I'm still on the hunt for some stuff and you guys know you can't really decorate a place in like a weekend I mean I think I got some good stuff here and it's a really good start but you know you're always going to want to tweak things and just change some stuff up so there will be more hauls coming up um thank you guys so much for watching i'm so excited to get started um when i'm done i don't want to like show the process while i'm doing it i want to show you the things i've gotten and then at the end do a grand finale so that'll be coming up it may be after i move because i'm planning on moving soon Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends, tell your family. And again, thank you so much for watching. So until next time, peace out.